Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. We're back with another Spring Zara haul because they keep dropping the heat. Some of the things that I picked up were a little too big, so I think that this is gonna be very helpful for you guys if you like any of the pieces in this haul. And again, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I do a lot of fashion inspo, H&M hauls, Zara hauls, things like that, so you'll wanna stick around to get notified. But no more chit chat, let's get into the video. As always, let's start with what I'm wearing. I obviously love this tank top because you guys saw me wearing it in the last video that I shot and I just had to throw it on again. This is a knit sort of cropped at the belly button knit tank top. How many times am I gonna say knit? I stayed true to size and got it in a medium because I find that with Zara knits they don't they have a lot of give so if you size up it's gonna be probably too big on you and kind of fold in weird places so I always stay true to size when it's a knit like this and I'm glad that I did. Um, for me, it's a perfect crop length because it'll come right where my higher waisted jeans would start. I have a short torso though, so it may be different for you. Either way, I think that I was really missing a piece like this in my wardrobe because it really ties in the nudes, the blacks, and those sort of things, and I think that it's just looks very chic and very stylish, but also you could take it a little bit more edgy and trendy if you wanted to. I also just threw on a linen shirt that I got from H&M a couple years ago now, but very easy to find on H&M or Zara. It's the one with the one pocket on the side, kind of oversized button up. Now let's talk about this right here. I decided to pick up a pair of shorts, you guys know, Shorts are a struggle, okay? On this channel, shorts like these are a struggle. These are like a tailored type of short, but they looked long enough on the model that I really wanted to give them a try and just kind of see what they looked like. They have one pocket on the back there. They have one little flat pocket on the back here. I don't think it's a real pocket. It's not a real pocket though, but I do appreciate that it's there. I think it makes it look cuter. And it has belt loops. I honestly really, love the way that these fit. I've never found a pair of tailored shorts from Zara that I really like the way that they fit, but these are good. They do have pockets in the front on both sides. These are a very good staple, I think, for spring and summer coming up. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, so they're gonna be great for kind of nicer outfits or especially to take on vacation. So I finally got my hands on these beige parachute cargo pants. If you guys have seen the last couple hauls that I've done, you'll know that I got these same pants in the navy blue set. And originally I wasn't even planning to go for the navy blue at all. It was really just the beige ones that I wanted and I wasn't even gonna try those. But I am so glad that I did because I found that the fabric on the blue is a little bit different than the beige ones. This is like a little bit of a softer material and the blue one is more of like a windbreaker type of feel, but not super thin, not like a super thin windbreaker, but you know what I mean? Like that kind of swishy windbreaker type of material. This is a little different. Like, don't get me wrong, they're thick. I feel like the material is good quality. I think that they're made pretty well. They just don't, at least on me, I feel like they don't give the way that the navy blue ones did. They just feel a little bit too big and baggy. Pause the video. I think I take back everything negative I said about these pants earlier. I must have just not been styling them right or something, but for whatever reason, I actually feel like they give the same as the navy blue. So I take back everything I said because how cute is this outfit? I actually kind of love them. I don't know what i did wrong the first time but they are so cute but i do really like them in general i think they're very stylish very cute they would look so good with a white one of those white button-up crop top poplin shirts that's how i really wanted to wear this so yeah you could definitely style these up so cute i had 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 to pick up another pair of these trousers these are the famous high-waisted pleated trousers or dress pants that Zara always has on their website. They got this color and I was like, yes, immediately, yes, throw it in the cart. I love a green, I love this lime green. I have a couple other tops actually in this similar color. So 
And even Zara even has a knit tank top in this color, so you could definitely create a monochromatic look. But I envision if I was to wear these out other than like a workwear type of style, I could definitely see myself wearing this with a beige linen shirt with a darker kind of like peanut butter brown belt beige shoes and like a peanut butter brown clutch or something like that it's kind of unexpected but those colors I think would go really nicely together of course you could also do it with a white top which I think would look so clean and nice I just love this color like this is a great pop of color and it will look good with workwear too so yeah and I got these in a medium they're definitely a little tight I gained a couple pounds so yeah the medium fits a little tighter on me than it used to it's been a little minute since I picked up a pair of jeans but I decided to try these ones out these are a high-waisted what are they called high-waisted full-length split hem blah 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 type of jeans honestly way too many words but I love the way that these fit. I feel like they are the same style as those black full length pants that I tried and showed you guys in a couple hauls ago with the split hem at the bottom. I think that these are pretty much the same, but I sized up because I wanted them to be more comfortable. Um, so the size up is perfect chef's kiss. It does have a last stain in it, so they're very comfortable. They're not super rigid, which I love. These are way more comfortable to wear. And then I love the little patch on the back. I like the color that they did that in. The pockets are a nice placement, so they're gonna be flattering for the booty. But the only thing I think what I'm gonna do with these is sew together the hem at the bottom because I don't really like how open that split hem looks with sneakers so i definitely think i'm going to kind of sew that up a little bit maybe not all the way but probably to here but yeah i love these jeans i love the wash of these jeans everything about them they are so cute now we're touching on the first sizing disappointment <laughs> I got these pants that I've been just dreaming about. I've been seeing them and eyeing them and love the shape of these freaking pants. And like always, I sized up from my normal size because of how Zara usually is. I'm always usually a size up in pants. So I did that with these and I definitely think you would need to stay true to size with them. Um, but these are, and I'm going to pop up a picture from the website so you can really get an idea of what they look like. These are called cargo pants, but they don't have like an open pocket. They just kind of have a zipper on the side. And I love the shape of these because they're kind of balloonish. And then like, if you know, balloon style pants. And then at the bottom, they have this tab where you can kind of tighten them and bring the ankle closer together. That is one thing about them that I really loved. Anything that is sort of like a balloon shape, I like that you can be able to kind of bring the ankle in because it gives it a little bit more shape and structure. This fabric is very thick and not doesn't have a whole lot of stretch or give. It has a little bit, but not a lot. So I decided to pick up a little cropped white t-shirt from Zara. This does not have like regular sleeves. As you can see, it's kind of like a cap sleeve. And I don't know, I'm just not crazy about it, honestly. I don't like where it hits me at the waist. It comes, a, it's a, like a little too long at the waist to where it looks almost unflattering. Um, I've seen better crop t-shirts, so I will probably just get a regular t-shirt from them or get a crop t-shirt from somewhere else. But regardless, I do really like Zara's white t-shirts. I think that the material is nicer than your average simple white t-shirt also i think i take back what i said about this shirt earlier because it's the perfect length for a front tuck again i must not have been styling it right but actually it's clutch another thing i picked up is this basic white tank top this is kind of semi sheer i would say the material of it is it feels like a fine knit and i i'm pretty sure it's a fine knit um, I really wanted a tank top that was not super tight and clingy. Something a little bit looser and more flowy like this is good to have in your wardrobe because you don't, I, I feel like you don't always want to have a super tight tank top. It's nice to have one that's just a little flowy and a little more forgiving, I guess you could say, and comfortable too. So I really love this. It's very comfortable, even though it's semi-sheer with a nude bra underneath, 
it's not like showing everything so you'll be fine I picked up this really cute wrapped black top and I saw it with those shorts that I showed you at the beginning of the haul and the model was actually wearing them together I really love how they look together and this is kind of that stretchy cotton material very similar to other shirts that they made last year during the summer um, and I like that material uh, it's comfortable um, as far as the wrap detail I think that the way the placement where this hits me on the waist is really nice it's not too cropped and it's not too low so it'll hit right there for me at least where pants or shorts come up like belly button length I'd say and I got this in a medium I love I think this is just a great basic to have in your wardrobe for nicer outfits for vacation for hot days <laughs> just honestly anything I can really think of so yeah I don't really have anything bad to say about this I really like this top and I was definitely missing something like this in black this next one has got to be my favorite in the haul I've been dying to get my hands on one of these long flowy slip dresses but I just never really found one in a cut or color that I was obsessed with but this one again green come on you know green has my heart so let's talk about sizing on this because most slip dresses and dresses that are looser and flowy i usually get in true to size but when i was looking when i was adding this to the cart i noticed that it came in like large extra large and possibly if i remember correctly an extra extra large any time that i see that I'm like, oh, okay, that's probably telling me that I need to size up um, because that's usually the case with anything that they have sizing like that in. Not always, but it's just kind of like one of those things that triggers me to kind of go up a size. So I did. I would normally have gotten this in a medium, but I got it in a large and it has some stretch to it. So could I have stayed with a medium? Absolutely. It would have been more fitted, more tight but I'm actually glad that I sized up in this because it is not so clingy to where if you're wearing like shapewear or something like that under it, it's gonna show every little place of where it is. This just sits really nicely on the body and it's flowy like how it's meant to be. It still comes in at the waist like how it should. The way that it's shaped actually and cut is it comes in at the waist and out a little bit at the hips. So the large honestly was just it, gave, it gives the look that I was going for, so I would definitely stick with this one. But that's your preference. If you want it to be super tight and clingy and flowy at the bottom, then stay true to size. If you want it to be a little bit more elegant and flowy, but still forms to your body, then size up. The straps in the back are adjustable. So we have adjustable straps on the arm straps and then an adjustable strap in the middle there to make it tighter. And then of course the low back. When I tell you I'm obsessed with this, I'm obsessed with it. I styled it in this haul with my dunks that have this similar green on them. And that's actually kind of why I wanted this dress because I, I like to I like that juxtaposition. So when I saw the color, I immediately thought of those dunks and I was putting the outfit together in my head. You can definitely dress this up or dress it down. This is gonna be really nice to wear during spring and especially summer. So I'm really excited to show you guys kind of an out of the box way to style it. Pinterest shows a lot of the girlies wearing these slip dresses in casual ways and I'm here for it. Another thing you could also do is put a t-shirt over it and a belt and then kind of bring it up if you wanted to so then you have the illusion that you're wearing a slip skirt and a shirt on top or something like that so that's another way i'll probably show that to you guys in like a styling video so i've had my eyes on this set for a while it was going in and out of stock um and i showed this shirt to you in the last video but i did not show you guys the shorts so if you remember this is a blue striped shirt with green stripes and it's actually a kelly green so this is why i got it i needed more things to wear with my green hat i got the shirt in a large i wouldn't say that it's super oversized oversized compared to some of my other button-up shirts but it gives enough of an oversized fit that i really like i don't like those type of shirts to be too fitted because then you feel like formal and serious which is why i get those things oversized but i also got the shorts in a large they have a faux oh it's a real drawstring okay you can actually tighten it so i like these 
I think they're cute for vacation or super hot days depending on your climate but I'm not like in love with the way that the shorts fit. I don't think they're the most flattering thing ever for me personally. That might be different for you, but I really love these kinds of cotton poplin sets. So I don't know, I'm on the fence, but I really love them as a set. I love wearing them together. I think that it it's very easy, chic, and cool at the same time. Don't forget to use the links down below. The benefit of you guys clicking those links down below, by the way, is not only that I earn a commission, which doesn't cost you anything extra, and that helps me to make more videos for you, but when you guys click the links down below, it tells me exactly what you're interested in and what you like seeing, and that helps me to know what to show more of. So be sure you're clicking those links so that I can see that data and figure out what you guys really like seeing. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Overnight, I decide.